Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Gear, and today we're talking about understanding commercial flood zones. So what we're talking about today are gonna to be flood zone X, flood zone A, and even flood zone V. Now these are really the general zones across the country. There can be a lot of different ones that fall in these areas, but these are the real three categories. So let's start with flood zone X. You know, this is gonna be your non-required or some people call minimal risk. Flood insurance is not generally going to be required in these zones. It doesn't mean that flooding doesn't occur in these zones. It just means that the mortgage company is not gonna require flood insurance here. But generally almost up to 30% of flood claims actually come out of these areas. So that's flood zone X. So what about flood zone A? Now you've got a lot of different things from A to AE to A99. But what's important to understand is that flood zone A falls within the special flood hazard area or the 100 year floodplain flood zone, some people call it. This means that flood insurance is going to be required in these areas. So if you have a mortgage, if you have additional interest, this is where it's going to be required. Can you get that flood zone changed? Yes, in many situations you can. We help people with that every day. Now there's flood zone V. Now these are coastal areas. Usually what this means is water velocity. You should have coastal action. You know, like you see right here with the water behind me, if the water was to come inland, like tidal waves. You know, these are your V areas. These are areas that are generally along the coast. Now it's important to understand too, that whether you're in flood zone X or flood zone A or VE, maybe you're on the coast, you could still be in what's called a CBRA designated area. This is where flood insurance is not available through the National Flood Insurance Program generally if a property is built or improved after 1982. Generally only private flood insurance offers flood insurance in these areas. We see commercial investors have a lot of problems with CBRA. These are generally called Coastal Barrier Resources Act areas. These are protected areas, usually barrier islands. So these are the different flood zones when it comes to understanding commercial flood insurance. So if you've got questions about understanding these, what are your options? How do you minimize the risk of your property flooding, increase your profitability on that property, and create long-term rate stability? click below to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Remember, we have an educational background in flood mitigation, which means we can help you understand flood risk like this right here. Your flood insurance and mitigating your property long-term. Thank you.